All right, this is a quick tip video about React controlled radio buttons. And I'm gonna show you how to create a few radio buttons and how you can control them with state in React. So what I have now is just this little application here that types out app on the screen. That's everything there is. So I'm gonna create these radio buttons in the JSX first. So inside of the app component here, I'm gonna create an input. It's gonna be of the type radio because that's what this video is about. I'm going to have a name, uh, React Radio B10. Don't really need the name for this tutorial, but it's good to have a name. The value is important. It's going to say Radio 1. Checked is important. That's the one that's going to check if uh, the radio button is checked. And we're going to create a little function for this is Radio Selected. I'm going to pass along the name, the exact same as we have in the value, like this. And we have an on change handler also. And that one is going to be called handle radio click. So that's one. I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have maybe five of them. So one, two, three, four. Change this once. Three. Four, five. All right, and then I'm gonna scaffold out this these functions. Const is radio selected, and now I'm in TypeScript. So I'm gonna have one param here. The value, it's gonna be a string, and I'm gonna return boolean. Yeah, and for now, I'm just going to return true. And then we have the handle radio click, radio, yeah, radio click. We have the event for this one because that's uh, on the on change event. And as I'm in TypeScript, we have the react dot change event. It's a generic, so I'm going to pass along that it's an HTML input element. And this one is going to return nothing, so it returns void. And for now, I just return null. And this will make it... No, it can't return anything, of course. Uh, so I can console log out something. Click. Like that. And this will hopefully make the application work. So I have these radio buttons here, but they are not controlled with state now, as we want them to be. Because these are uncontrolled now. I go back to my application, and first we need to create a state that we want to have for the radio buttons. So const selected radio btn set selected radio btn equal react dot use state. And as initial value, we can set the radio button that we want to be selected. So for example, it's very important that this one up here in the state is the same as the radio buttons. So for example, we can set radio 2 to be selected by de default. And this one here is radio selected. This one's going to decide if the radio button is selected and it, and it will return the boolean. So as you can see here on the radio buttons, I'm going to call this function here with the actual value of that specific radio button. And that function will decide if that one is true. So what we can do here is we can check the selected radio button, the value in the state, if that one equals to the value that we pass in, then we know that this radio button is selected. And what we can do here also, I can actually remove the sidebar. Instead of console log here, we can set the selected radio button. And from the event and the current target, we have a value. Set selected, not selected like that. And it's a little bit long here, this row, and that's because I bumped up the font size just for you guys to see. But what I'm doing here is I'm setting this state that we created up here with the value from the click from the change event. And the value is going to be the value that we specify here. So if we click on this radio button, radio 2 will be the value on the current target dot value. And we set that in state. All right, save it, go back. And if we click here now, 
these radio buttons are controlled. You can see also when I reload it that it's set on two. If I go back and I change to four as the default value for the state, it's going to change to the fourth radio button. So this is essentially how you create controlled radio buttons in React. Hopefully you like this video and subscribe and hit that notification button. See you in another one.